Howdy folks, Hillbilly here, here with another uh, adventure for you guys. Uh, this is a little bit of a different adventure today, it's not the typical hillbilly hike. We're actually back here in uh, Hacker Valley, West Virginia, Webster County, uh, doing a weekend here at uh, my old family property. So I've been in my family for uh, a few generations, and a place I've been coming uh, my entire life since I was born. Come here camping every year. Uh, my family's roots are deep back here, and uh, yeah, so I figured uh, bring uh, bring you guys on down along with me on this go around. Got a bunch of friends and family with us. So we're gonna do some fishing, uh, some shooting, some drinking, some eating, and we're just gonna have a good old good old time here in Webster County, West Virginia. So uh, yeah, say we're here in a little place called Hacker Valley, in Webster County. Uh, family's got about 19 acres back here. It has been in our family for a very long time. And uh, it's where me and my cousins used to come and play growing up. Every summer we'd come back here, spend a week or two, and uh, just live it up. It, it was sweet. So I still come back here at least once a year. We camp and hang out and catch up with old relatives we haven't seen in a long time. And, and uh, just have a good old time. So anyway, I'm glad you guys come along on this one, and and let's have a good time. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Kara? Brought my GoPro. You guys remember Kara from the Dolly Sods videos and such? This old Timmy Full Dobbin Shaw. <laughs> Got old Ryan with us. Gary over there letting one fly. <laughs> it's getting ready for dinner. Hoping this water will clear up by morning. Had a lot of rain on our way up here <laughs> for a while after we got here. Yeah, I had a little pole and one of my buddies broke it. That's a little sweet. You can bang shit out of it. I thought I could break it. All right, Saturday morning, we're here at the Holly River General Store getting some breakfast. Had a great night's sleep. Waking up to some good old biscuits and gravy and some coffee. This Kara's got the, the breakfast platter special. With the tots. Yep, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. We just rode up here to get some good breakfast and some coffee in us. and going to head back to the property and start having some fun. Hopefully it'll stay beautiful like this all day. Now right, we're going to try to walk this river down to uh, our big deepest hole we got, but the water's a little higher than usual. We'll uh, see how it goes. Hopefully I don't lose this phone in the river. <laughs> now we got our first significant catch of the trip. Oh, white bass here if I can get a hold of him. White bass, because y'all need Jesus. It's all part of the Dobbin Boys Catch and Release program.
All right, Timmy got himself a got himself a nice little rainbow here. It's a nice one. That's a eating fish. You got your line? Yep, yeah, right here out of this little little channel through here. I threw it right there, dude. And I felt him hit it before it went over the rocks, and he got it downstream. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yep. We finally got us some good eating fish. Alright, we're gonna string him up and try to catch his brother and sister. Alright folks, let's do a little tour of the Casa de Hillbilly here. Got the uh, Gander Mountain Vacation 8, 8 person tent. Uh, ultralight is not a thing when we come out here. Uh, it's got a nice little screened in porch here as you can see. Got the cooler, some food, chair out here. Got the entryway. Yeah, we got the banjo, we got the rifle, a little table with my fan and such. We got the cot going on with the enlightened equipment quilt. Very spacious in here, tons of room to walk around. Really like this tent. It's an eight person tent, but I use it with my family, my, my wife, my son, and I. There's always plenty of room in here. Anyway, that's the entire tour. Uh, yeah, just got back from uh, fishing a little while. I think we're going to grab a bite to eat. I'll maybe do some swimming, maybe do some shooting. Not sure yet. How's it feel, Ryan? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. It'll do? Cold. All right, we're going to get in this cold-ass water and see what happens. I just got here to the Wheeler Overlook. This is just up the road from a property. It's actually where I asked my wife to marry me, right here on this gazebo. It's a nice little overlook. It's 
I believe that's an old store and post office back there. It tells you about it on this little signboard. Yep, cool spot, beautiful. All right, just drove up the road here a little ways to the Chestnut Grove Cemetery. This is actually where I have a lot of old family buried. Great, great, great grandparents and uncles and, and such. So there's a lot of history for my family in here. But yeah, we're going to walk around and see if we can't find some names that we recognize. All right, just found my great, great grandma and grandpa as well as my great-grandma and grandpa. So pretty cool. Haven't been up here since I was a kid. It's cool to see all this stuff. It's like Donna or Eva walking around here. Got some more great-great relatives here. Man, she lived 1894 to 1983. It's a good long life. Found the grave of the old timer that we used to always see down at the property when we were growing up. Old Lawrence Jordan lived down there on the same little stretch of river that we did. Used to see him every summer my whole life. He was a quintessential mountain man, no doubt about that. Yeah, he died about 15 years ago, and here he lays. Beautiful place to rest. All right, getting dinner ready for night number two. And do a sausage with some peppers and mushrooms. Good old fashioned dogs. Timmy's got a trout and a bass over here. He's gonna grill up. Kara, as always, is doing it up real. Homemade. Yep, eating good again tonight. Alright folks, it's Sunday morning. I mean, it's time to pack up and head out of here. It's always, uh, always a sad moment, a sad morning. The morning we got to pack up and leave, but it is what it is. Got to get back home, get back to the family, get back to the job. But uh, man, had a great time this weekend. The weather turned out nice. Uh, I actually got up early this morning. Managed to finally get a trout on the line, so... I got a trout down there at the river strung up. I still need to fillet and put on ice before we get out of here. But, uh, yeah, another great time. Uh, glad I was able to bring you guys along this time. Show you a little bit of uh, my family property, my family history, where I come from. It's old Hillbilly's roots down here. But, uh, yeah, we got a couple more adventures coming up. We'll be heading back to Dolly Sides this year. And uh, we also got the big 110 miles. Uh, on the Appalachian Trail, down starting in the Smokies, so that'll be uh, next month. So uh, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hillbilly Hikes signing out.